Hi everyone! I'm Prima Baran and this is Alexis, Hi. my model for today. And um, I'm, we are going to show you how to do face painting butterfly using sponge. These are for the people who actually can't um, do one stroke yet. So these butterfly sponges that I'm using right here, <laughs> this is from um, Always Wicked Art. It's awesome because it's um, on a teardrop shape already that will fit really well when doing your butterfly wings. The same with the Fantopia sponge, it already has this um, shape that you can basically just follow when you're doing your linings. So whichever sponge you get, teardrop um, sponges is actually great for doing butterfly wings. Okay, so today we're going to use um, this pixie rainbow cake called Carnival from Silly Farm, um, I think. And we're going to use um, always weaker, wicked art teardrop sponge. So I'm going to sponge, um, spread some water on it first. Oops, movie, it's a bit wet. Okay, so you have to be mindful on how much water you um, put in your sponge to make sure that um, it's not going to be dripping when you are painting on the skin. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the um, darker color is where the curve is here and the lighter color will be in the tip right here. Okay, so I'm loading it back and forth, back and forth. and you can see that the sponge is well loaded. Okay, so now I'm going to um, position the sponge right in the inner corner of the eye and just gently dabbing. Okay, just dab, just like that. The same on the other side. On the other side, on the bottom part. Okay, so if you run out of paint on your sponge, like what's happening right now, okay, I will just spread my sponge lightly, sponge lightly. And then go back and grab more color and just punch again. So basically when you're doing butterfly you have to make sure that you have this X with the focal point in there so you can find your focal point will be in the middle. Okay? And after that, we can add um, glitters to it. We're using a holographic glitter. Keep your eyes closed, my darling, while the paint is still wet. All right, and then I'm going to grab my number eight brush. I know some artists would use um, a angle um, flat brush to do the outlines right here but I know some of the beginners don't have that much control with their brushes yet so all they know is you know to do their linings they use um, round brush so today I'm using um, number eight round brush and a black I'm grabbing black paint And we are going to start outlining this butterfly. Okay. So when doing butterfly, it doesn't have to be perfectly um, like symmetry with these lining here. Sometimes. 
sometimes you can you will be you know doing a little mistake right there but ah, well look it looks sim symmetrical to me so what I did there is just did the swirl and then we're going back down going towards here okay if you see these lines here it's going to this direction all right so we're going to do the bottom part I'm just going to do a long te teardrop long teardrop okay and then I'm gonna repeat this design from the top so this is how I use to do my butterflies on the job when I was beginning a beginner because it's easy and definitely works okay and then we're going to do this row now if you don't have one of these special blinks like what we're going to use here today okay you can always just do dots remember butterfly body only have three parts okay doesn't have lots of dots in it so and we're going to grab another one brush and I'm taking my white paint and we're going to start applying dots to it to put a little bit of interest to the design. Okay. And I'm gonna put one, two, three. Things looks good in trees. One, two, three. It's big dot going small. Okay, the same right here. And then to make it more special, we're going to add. You can open your eyes now, my darling. Thank you. We're going to paint her lip that complements the color here. So she's got pinks and purples, but the color that's missing there is blue. So I'm going to use Superstar Ziba Blue or Fab Ziba Blue. Then we are applying some blings. All right. So, and there you go. So this is our beginner's butterfly using um, butterfly shaped sponges and um, split cake and round brushes. So there you go. Thank you. Bye. Bye.